Okay, so in this step, what we're going to do is a, a number of things. We'll uh, go over the process to install the carbon fiber panels, the center strap, and then also the uh, latch and the brackets for the trunk. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is you'll lay out, you can see some of the foam tape here. Um, just lay a strip of foam tape here, which is basically in line with the, the trunk wall. So that'll come up this way, and then you'll keep it along the seam here. Come down into the, the center section where the recess is for the uh, center strap. Up along the other side, and the same thing, as a strip that goes the length of the car right here. What that does is just help kind of insulate any runoff that might come down the channel, in the trunk channel and want to kind of sneak in between the panels and get into the trunk. Um, what you also do is you can put a small dab of uh, silicone around each hole that you've drilled in the carbon fiber to match the body. Uh, and then once you have those panels ready to go, you can line those up, uh, loosely bolt them together. You can also set in the uh, bumper strap here with the countersunk bolts. And then if you come around to this side, you'll see at the same time what you'll need to do is install the trunk latch bracket and then the support for the rear trunk. You notice a, on these two holes here off the center, um, because of the height of the body, you'll need to use one of the nylon spacers uh, so that you don't pull the fiberglass down too tight because the center bolt, again because it has this kind of recess for the strap to fit in, it's what sits flat on the top of this bracket so these two are raised up a little bit so you have to use that spacer there and then bolt that down. Uh, again, these are the one inch uh, quarter 20s with a nylon lock nut. So then if we come down here, you'll see that the, the bracket is installed here in, in position. Uh, and you want to do this at the time when you have um, the body set on and the carbon fiber panel set in uh, to make sure that it's centered. And then once you have it centered, you have your latch on, you've done your, your test fit um, to make sure that everything will line up, trunk will close properly. You can then sink, you probably can't really see them, but there's three um, self-tapping screws in here, the same ones that we use for the exhaust. You sink those into the bumper using the existing holes in the bracket, and then the trunk support, this kind of L-shaped bracket here, uh, will install with the um, carriage bolts that we, uh, that we have, the 3 ace carriage bolts to uh, lock that down. If the whole, if the square slots in, in the brackets don't align, what we do uh, from time to time is we'll have to re-drill a hole, a uh, 5 16 hole, to be able to allow this L-shaped bracket to sit up flush against the trunk floor. So if you run into an alignment issue, what you can do is re-drill some new holes, uh, use a 5 16 bolt and a nylon lock nut to uh, bolt the L-shaped trunk support bracket to the trunk latch bracket. And then what we'll do is we'll come around to this side here. Once you've got this piece on, um, you can then install the, the other fender, the fender wells. Uh, you notice we've got the double-sided tape here um, to help seal these together. It also isolates some vibration, rattling, any chafing that might occur between the panels overlapping. Um, you want to make sure that you do this before you put the lights in because as you can see, this flange will come up and then the light will sit in the recess. So you want to make sure you do this before that. Uh, you also want to pay attention to these holes here because uh, at times the carbon fiber may um, close off a section of this center hole especially uh, and what you have to do there is, is grind that out so that the light, there's a post on the bottom of the light which is what keeps it centered a little bit. Um, the light won't sit in there so you have to grind that out. Um, you can see on this body we don't have that problem, they're both clear of the hole so, um, so they're good ahead good to go ahead. You can see this side they've already started putting the carbon fiber panel on and same thing they'll be using quarter 20 inch bolts with a uh, washer on the fiberglass side and uh, nylon lock nut to tie it all down.